This is my new Vox AC15 and it's one of many valve amps that come with the speaker hardwired into the amp. So there's no jack socket in between the amp and the speaker that you can unplug, pop an attenuator in and reconnect it. So I've had to do a small modification to add a couple of jack sockets in between the amp and the speaker. And this is a really, really easy thing that you can do, even if you have absolutely no experience of electronics or anything. And this will be a really simple explanation for how you do that and what you're going to need. Firstly, you can either solder the connections or you can use these standard spade connectors, which will work both for the jack sockets and for the speakers, depending on how confident you are doing soldering. Generally speaking, if you do a reasonable soldering job, it's gonna provide a more secure and a better connection than using these. The other decision is whether you want to start drilling holes or not into your new amplifier. So that's the way that I've done this because I'm never gonna sell this amp, I'm keeping it. But what you could do if you wanted to was to do exactly this into a little electrical box and drop it inside the amp because there's plenty of room inside the back of whatever amplifier you've got. There'll always be somewhere to mount a little box. Let's have a quick talk about everything that we need. The first thing you're going to need is two guitar jack sockets. These are going to be standard mono jack sockets and you'll know that they're mono because they'll have two lugs instead of three lugs. The ones with three lugs are the stereo jacks. The difference between a good jack socket and a cheap and cheerful crap one is about four or five dollars. So when you spend so much money on an amp, this is not the place to save money. So get something like pure tone jacks for these. Then depending on how you do it, in fact, whether you use a box or do it straight into the amp, you're going to need a couple of mounting plates. And these will be for sale in exactly the same place as the jack sockets. And you'll probably get a recommendation to a few of these different plates when you're shopping for those. Your sockets will come with the bolts and washers to take those off and slot them in. You simply do it up and that's literally what you need to connect into either your box or to your amp. If you're doing the soldering option, you'll obviously need some solder in your soldering station, but if you're not, you're gonna need a few of these small spade connectors. And then the last bit that you'll need is a few small screws to mount your jack sockets and a speaker cable to go from one of the new jack sockets to connect to the speaker. You absolutely can't use instrument cable for these. So even though they look the same, speaker cable something completely different. And the guitar store that I went to actually didn't have any speaker cable. So what I did was to buy a speaker cable with both ends on and just chopped it off and used that for this jack socket on the inside. You'll also need speaker cable rather than instrument cable to connect your attenuator, but you probably know that already. Let's talk through the basic process. So essentially you're going to disconnect the wires that are on the existing speaker and run that into a new jack. Then you're going to take your new speaker wire, connect it up to a second jack and connect that to the speaker. That means that you've now got an amp out and a speaker in jack in order to plug an attenuator into. When you take a look at the speaker on the inside of your amp, you'll see that it'll it'll be marked on there which is the positive and which is the negative. The only way that you can go wrong really is to connect them the wrong way round. The other thing I'll do is just to pop a picture up on screen for which is the positive from the connections for your jack socket and it's as simple as literally slotting on the spade connectors. So it's pretty hard to go wrong. So your original cable that was connected to the speaker is now connected to this jack and your new speaker cable which you've just bought connects to this jack and goes direct to the speaker. So if you've never done this before it might seem daunting but that is literally everything that you have to do. It's that simple. The most important thing to remember is that now you've done this mod pretty much all valve amps need a load running to the speaker so it has to be connected so you always need either your attenuator plugged in or if not a speaker cable connecting direct from here to here. So I do appreciate that that was a very long explanation for what's a very simple task, but I do this kind of stuff all the time and even I was concerned about drilling holes and cutting wires in my nice shiny new amp. So I'm sure there's other people out there that have the same concern. So hopefully that was of some use to someone out there. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of the support and the views and I'll have a new episode of something soon.